This is a patient with a renal transplant who had some uh, bowel abnormalities on a CT scan, and an MRI was requested to further evaluate this. And we can see that uh, the rectum here is thickened, the sigmoid colon is thickened, and there's a whole bunch of other stuff going on. But I want you to focus on is the renal transplant itself. First of all, this is sort of um, a relatively uncommon type of renal transplant, a pediatric on block renal transplant, where they take uh, kidneys, uh, donor kidneys from uh, pediatric patients, and they sort of place them together in the right lower quadrant, making anastomoses to the external uh, iliac vasculature. What we can see on the T2-weighted sequence that uh, within the more medial of the two kidneys, there's this round, uh, relatively T2 hypo-intense mass. There's some areas of high intensity within it as well. And when we give contrast, we can see that there's enhancement associated with this. And so this is a renal neoplasm, which um, Certainly, patients who are post-renal transplant are at increased risk for. They can happen in the native kidney. They can happen in the transplanted kidney. Considerations would be uh, things like post-transplant lymphoproliferative disorder, though primary neo renal neoplasms can also occur uh, in these patients. The increased risk of neoplasms is thought to be related to the fact that these patients are immunosuppressed. In the case of PTLD, it's because of reactivation of Epstein-Barr virus in the setting of that immunosuppression.